If you're thinking about switching to Linux, you've probably heard of Ubuntu and Linux Mint. But which one should you actually install? Well, today I'm going to break down the five biggest differences that beginners care about most. And by the end, you'll know exactly which one is the best choice for you. So stick around, because some of these might surprise you. Let's start with the most important thing, how it feels to use. Ubuntu comes with the GNOME desktop, which looks modern, but it can be a little confusing if you're used to Windows. Linux Mint, on the other hand, gives you the Cinnamon desktop, which looks and works much more like Windows. The Start menu, the taskbar, even the right-click menus, they all feel familiar. Point one goes to Linux Mint. Next up, performance. Ubuntu's GNOME desktop looks good, but it's a bit heavy, using more memory and CPU power. That can slow things down, especially on older or budget laptops. Linux Mint is lighter, especially with Cinnamon or X, and it just runs smoother on modest hardware. If you want a system that feels fast without buying a brand new computer, Linux Mint is the winner here too. Now let's talk about installing apps. Ubuntu has started pushing something called Snap Packages. They're universal, but they can be slower to open and take up more space. Linux Mint avoids snaps and sticks with the traditional .deb packages and flat packs, which are faster and more transparent. In simple terms, Mint gives you more control over your software without extra bloat. Another win for Linux Mint. But what if you get stuck? Ubuntu is backed by Canonical, a big company, and it has a massive global community. That means tons of tutorials, forums, and documentation. Linux Mint also has a helpful community, but it's smaller. The good news is, because Mint is based on Ubuntu, you can still use almost all of Ubuntu's guides. So in this round, Ubuntu takes the edge, but Mint users are never really left behind. Finally, stability. Ubuntu pushes updates more quickly, including those Snap apps, and sometimes things break. Linux Mint takes a more careful approach. Updates are tested and rolled out more conservatively, meaning fewer surprises for you. If you want a system you can rely on day to day, Mint is the safer bet. So, if you're just starting out with Linux, Linux Mint is hands down the smoother ride. But here's the thing, once you've got your system set up, the real magic happens when you start creating with it. And that's where coding comes in. Don't worry, I'm not talking about scary, boring programming classes. I'm talking about learning to code in a way that actually feels fun, a way to vibe with it. If you're curious, click right here to check out my video on how to vibe code. I'll walk you through how to start coding in a chill, beginner-friendly way, without getting overwhelmed. Trust me, if you like this video, you'll love that one. See you there.